Well, it's time for me to tell a story. And this one's regarding a couple snow bums on a mission to find the steepest terrain Australia has to offer. And this ain't a new story by any means. But it's a good one, and I hope you enjoy it. Our story begins here, British Columbia, home to some of the most pristine mountains in the world. Also home to this fella. Except this isn't British Columbia. This is Outback Australia, just not the red patch of dirt you're thinking about. This not so little island on the arse end of the world is home to this bloke. Everything Chris knows about the mountains was passed on to him at a young age from dear old dad. And Tim, let me tell you something. Tim's not your average BC pillow buncher. He knows this southern gem is an untapped mecca, a wondrous delight full of potential. Which brings us here, the humble old mountaintops of the Australian backcountry. The boys wanted to do a trip and see what it was all about, so they butted up a couple local sponsors, sweet talked a couple shutter clicking gurus, and set off on a journey where the effort to reward ratio had some minor imbalances. The plan was simple three zones, five days apiece. They'd camp out in each location and wait for a web window. And simple plans simply can't go wrong. First stop, Mount Bogan. Sitting high above Victoria's treetops, this little chestnut packs a punch. And with some good old fashioned bushwhacking, they arrived at Michelle Hut, an old wooden refuge where the walls tell stories of travellers past. Yeah, hopefully I'm still oh. oh man. Chris just jaunted out to the bathroom in his in his underwear. Go, 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 go. What? <laughs> it's like, what a savage. It's time for these weary travellers to dust off their boots and hit the hay. However, the skies are as unforgiving as the land, and Bogon proved itself to be a fierce beast, unlike any other. What are we doing here? We just gotta wait for a weather window, and that's why we got so much time here. <laughs> But these boys have spent enough time in the mountains to know better than to sit around and wait to play ball. Persistence is the only way in the mountains. The anticipation of waiting around finally paid off. For on this day, the skies open and Bogon exhibited herself for the beauty she is. They head up the mountain with the sun on their backs for the first time in what feels like days. Because it has been days. And these filthy snow dogs are hungry for some steep, untouched lines. Just fighting that like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fucking gnarly, <laughs> man. Yes. Good day. 
Well, they may have quenched their first, but their appetite is still strong, and that's where this fella comes in. Touched for the very first time. Now don't let his pretty voice deceive you. Like Lewis has been guiding these hills since he was a wee lad, and knows how to sniff out steep terrain like a ski bum knows how to sniff out a free meal. And this makes him the perfect guide to steer this ship on course to the best ride in main range has to offer. Yo, buddy, let's do this. So towing a sled full of whiskey and other mountain essentials, they headed out to conquer three peaks that offer some of the steepest terrain known to man. Well, probably. Gonna have a bat rave in the bat cave. So there's a lot of terrain out there, like we go over at different shoots, right? Yeah. So you rest spend the whole day in the crags area. If it goes, it, it could be really cool, I think. Very cool to arrive in a total whiteout, set up camp in the inside of a ping pong ball, not see anything, then wake up to like a beautiful sunrise and just have it all laid out in front of you. It's very exciting. I'm really cold. I looked at the view and I was like, wow! And then I closed the thing because I'm too cold to get changed. <laughs> yeah, I can do ski well once it does stuff. Yeah. It should be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's yeah, we just have to hope for like high, high temps today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. How nice is it out here? Oh, look how windy it is.
Have a go. Yeah, man. Good work. It's a fun one. Good job. Nothing quite compares to the stillness of the mountains. It quietens the mind, breathes silence into every bone. Tired bodies and satisfied souls open a space within, allowing the stillness of the mountains to settle in. Such an epic day. We pulled it off. The full Boots main range traverse. Woo. All zones in one day. Double crags. Double crags. Double crags is a good shout. We hit Bogong. Watson's crag. Z. We did it. Feels good. Crew is on fire. Everyone was skiing good. Sick. Do you think the forecast is looking better for tomorrow? You did? Yeah. Cool. We'll get out and maybe get some of those north lines? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm learning to be concise in this trip, right? That was Cutting down. I might, my next like lesson I walk in, I'm gonna be like, morning kids, do this, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to an epic day in the mountains. Yeah, Woo! cheers boys, right well done. Guys. So good. Boys and girls. Yeah. In the back cave, chilling with my boys. In the back cave, chilling with the back boys. In the back cave, in the back cave, having a back rave with the back boys. Ah, the bad boy. Oh my goodness gracious. And then we want to go from there, we want to go to... Where's God? It's just a big flash and then like... <laughs> seconds later, like a big thunderclap. So, kind of bailing off of this hole, trying to get under this rock. And if it's like the start of a thunderstorm, it's only gonna get worse. Sure. This isn't it. We're getting cold here. It's getting wet. Yeah, shit's been going down on and off for the last hour. We saw that there was a late forecast and some thunderstorms, a bit of a change in the forecast. We decided to tear down camp. Thunderstorm arrived two hours early. That has stopped. We're in a bit of a whiteout now, so if it all goes well, we'll be in the pub at 7 o'clock. We haven't made one decision that was the easy way to do something. Now it's over. <laughs> Let's go get them. Let's get out of here. You know, I got back on the dock. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to eat you. Depleted but not deterred, the team seek refuge for some well deserved RR &R and to gather intel from the locals for the final spot on the list, Fevertop. And then yeah, the way up bungalow spur is very steep. Well, it's just like, it's just a slog. Like, it's just like mm. a fucking like brutal slog. Morning. Ain't nothing like a mushroom coffee in the morning. Two weeks earlier, the guys walked bungalow spur and <laughs> vowed never to do it again. This is the evolution of the idea of bungalow spur, never doing that again. <laughs> we'll consider doing that again. It's the best option. We're doing it again. No, no, you forgot. We we'll don't do it. We'll do it lightweight. Yeah, we'll do it lightweight. We won't bring mattresses. We'll just bring foam mats and a sleeping bag and a bat cave. Two days later, bringing everything. <laughs> <laughs> With a storm brewing on the horizons, the options were slim. 
walk up in good weather and risk not getting the sun to ride, or walk up in the rain and be rewarded with a bluebird day. And so they walked. They walked through forest, through rain, and eventually snow, to find a nice warm fire to dry their clothes. And to wake up and find themselves surrounded by a nice thick layer of the white stuff. Kyle kind of looks like he's trying to clear up, eh? Now Chris can't sit still any longer than a bee's dick, so he heads up the mountain to do some avalanche testing, while Tim comes up with a plan of attack First by the fire side. Div here, and then once we've punched up here, we'll pick Div up, come around, and then we'll probably put Div somewhere. I did one. God, there's like about 160 centimeters of snow. It's all like density wise, it's all right side up. Isolated a column and did a compression test and I didn't get a result, which is really good. It's definitely bonding quicker than I thought it would. Having such a big storm like that, it was a pretty good stability test, which is, which is nice. Okay. Nine. Just continue to monitor it and maybe wait till tomorrow. I think we're gonna be on. Rested yesterday as the weather improved and then today it's just a full high pressure. It's blue sky, it's sunny, and so today's the day we're ready to go. I'm definitely a little bit nervous. It's like a huge line. I've been looking at it for years. Yeah, and then we just needed to wait for that, that new snow, storm snow to settle down and bond. Now it's icy. <laughs> so it's good to go. <laughs> Aussie star. Aussie star. Aussie star. <laughs> That was like full on Revy steep skiing mode, eh? That's where our story ends. Atop a great mountain with some mighty fine people who stepped outside into the unknown to do something that would challenge them. And maybe the snow here ain't as good as the rest of the world. And your pants won't stay as dry. You'll sometimes have to walk through the bush for hours before you even see snow. 
but the experience is unparalleled. A unique set of mountains that pose their own set of challenges. But the reward lies in the experience as a whole. The set in your mind on something unique, like finding a red patch of desert with an accumulation of rock with white tip peaks and then riding those peaks. You're not just finding a mountain or a nice turn, you're finding yourself. It's something to look back on with a sense of pride and not to say, look at me, I did that, but for your own quiet contemplation, for growth, and to just get out there and have a bit of fun. I got a poo in a bag. It's the bag part. Pee first in a separate area. That's that's the that's a hot tip. I gotta work on it. So we go here, then we get a ton of summit bars, and we go here. What planet the fuck are you from? Oh. <laughs> this is Aaron's drone. Oh. <laughs> Guess we'll just see if we duct tape together and get her back up in the air. What do you reckon? <laughs>